All right, we're so back. If you're watching on YouTube, apologies for um, the... I totally forgot. Oh, I gotta go rescue this guy's wife's body. Um, apologies for four videos that were all um, fighting the same boss. In my defense, Mans was pretty hard. He was, he was no joke. Skirt. Does the heavy aspartame dosage in Coke Zero bother you? What do you mean dosage? It's not a, it's not a medicine as much as it is a, a healing property. It doesn't bother me. It, it bothers me because it tastes so good that other stuff tastes bad by comparison. Enough with the soda? What did, what did the Coca-Cola Corporation do to you guys? I'm not saying you gotta stand them. I'm simply saying the beverage tastes good, okay? It's not that serious. I do kind of feel like it's a health potion. So can I tell you something? We went to Costco uh, last night. Anyone else here from the greater uh, Vancouver area? I had always gone to the downtown Vancouver Costco and I loved it. I enjoyed it immensely. Last night we found ourselves in South Vancouver. We needed to go to Costco to get some stuff for my kid's birthday function. I forgot about you. This is a horrible start. Um, one of the places of all time to buy 32 frozen hamburger patties. Anyway, we went to the Richmond Costco. I didn't realize there's a poorly kept secret. The Richmond Costco beats the piss out of the downtown Vancouver Costco, man. It turns out if you uh, don't have to pay downtown Vancouver real estate prices, the store can get bigger. It can carry more stuff. There's more space. The free samples were popping off. The food court requires you to have a membership card to get inside, unlike the one in downtown Vancouver. My wife said, before we leave, I want to get a hot dog. I said, oh, we'll be here forever. It can take you 20 minutes to get a hot dog at the, at the downtown Vancouver Costco. She said, yeah, but I really want one. I said, okay, fine, if it makes you happy. We'll take all of our groceries out to the car then and we'll wait for you. She tied us. She, she ordered a hot dog, got it, and then met us at the car the same speed that it took us to just show the lady at the exit our receipt and then get to the car. I, I mean, it just goes to show you. I mean, I was wrong. I'm going to that Costco forever now. Also, they had the prepared foods that I thought were American exclusive. Pre-marinated Kirkland Signature Bulgogi. Korean style Yang Yam chicken wings. Like they, they know what they're doing out there. Now it was still crazy busy, but that's just par for the course at Costco, man. I mean, with, with deals like that, you think you're the only person smart enough to know that that's where the, the greatest deals of all time are? Get me out of here. Bro, be careful. Be cool, Harley Quinn's coming. I own you. Um, ooh, Dark Moon, Moonstone of the Covenant. Thank you. Much appreciated. By the way, Kate, I saw your message. I have not seen the clown yet. You know what I respect about Lies of P? Every boss except fake dancer lady has been a, a bop. Like there is, I, I've very few bosses. If I if I may insult, uh, insult is maybe not the right word. If I may make what might seem, oh you motherfucker! <laughs> if I may make a disparaging comment, very slightly disparaging about the Souls games, there's usually only like seven or eight really really tough bosses. Maybe I should lower the volume. In Lies of P, every boss has been like 30 minutes to three hours so far, which I, I enjoy. Let 
Nah, that's annoying. Is it more annoying or less annoying than Diet Soda Discourse? Because that's where we're at. Also, can I tell you something? We were late leaving the Costco. So I, you know, had to come up with something real quick for dinner for myself, my mom, and my dad. And I said, you know what? This is basically what McDonald's was made for. My mom does not eat meat. I said, that's no problem. McDonald's is the largest restaurant chain on earth. I know that they sell salads. They must have something you can get if uh, you don't eat meat. Fucking spoilers, bro. Not anymore. The whole, the restaurant menu has none meatless options unless you just want to order french fries, which I'm, I'm not doing. I mean, I mean, like my mom's not doing, I should say. They used to have salads, but during COVID, they were like, you know, oh, lettuce got too expensive or whatever. Like, it's almost half the price of lumber and ethereum. So they were like, we can't afford to sell salads anymore. And they never brought them back. Press the button, please. Thank you. I just can't believe, like, in the modern day, it's 2023. They still don't have, like, a, a fake burger or just, like, a garden salad or something like that. Like, even Wendy's has, like, a meatless salad. What did your mom eat? Well, me and my dad got McDonald's because we had to go into the store to see if there were any meatless options. And then we drove her to the grocery store. She went in real quick and got some grocery store, like, vegetarian sushi. That's not a bit, by the way. I know it... I mean, where do you think my opinions came from? <laughs> I'm just surprised, man. Do they, do they have it in America? They don't have it in Canada. Europe, be quiet, okay? Holy, I don't have to fight that lady anymore. Wonderful news. No chicken or fish? Uh, well... So, I mean, it's very confusing. I'll admit. Chicken and fish, in my opinion, are both meat. That being said, my mom does eat some fish, but the only fish they have at McDonald's is the filet of fish sandwich. And for health reasons, she's not too interested in eating that, which makes sense. It's so good though. Is it better than 10-piece chicken nuggets with a, an extra-large Coke Zero? Listen, Cyber Drunk Zero, just relax on this, okay? I know your opinion on it, as is. Your bro thinks it's the American Revolution for real. Ha, huh? old there. What the? I, I'm catching strays everywhere. If you were in the American Revolution, would you be an American revolutionary or would you be a British uh, red coat? Americans don't answer this because I already know the answer. Old bro thinks he's George Washington for real. I would die. I'd be a red coat. Whoa! What the heck? I don't know, man. I'd have to think about it. I guess it depends on where I was born. I'd say I'm probably more likely to be a revolutionary if I was born in the United States. More likely to be a red coat if I was born in England. My guess. Astute observation. <laughs> Arch heavyweight frame. Damon Giannis winning the chip. Nah, it's Phoenix's year, to be honest with you. I mean, you'd have to be pretty silly to not Found know that at this point. Dress. 
wedding ring. Sold my puppet? car, sold my wife's the wedding ring. I don't even have a home to go back to. So, Mark, what do you have? I have bullet ball. I have my invention. Remember what I'm talking about? Dark... Dude, we're getting so much Titanite. I would not be the farmer from Farmer Refuted, bro. That's like one of the most egregious insults I've ever heard. Hamilton lovers and Hamilton haters can both agree. That's the worst song on the soundtrack, okay? Don't insult me. Where the heck am I? Which song is that? That's the thing is people who've seen the play 20 times don't even know it's a song. It's that bad. Okay, here we go. Ooh, rare functioning bridge. It's the one that goes, Heed not the rabble that scream revolution. They know not the something. It's the most theater kid song for sure. That one bangs. I get it. Your favorite song is uh, Seasons of Love from Rent. There's no problem. There's no skips in Act 1. I, I hate to tell you this. I'd be skipping a lot in Act 1. I'd be skipping... Uh, and I'm not saying this is the right take. This might be the most insane take. I'd be skipping track one, which I believe is called Alexander Hamilton. That's how crazy I am. I don't actually, I mean, for me, the play doesn't even start until uh, Skylar Sisters comes on. So we started like track five or something like that. Yep. <laughs> It's the clown, bro. Whoa! Mad clown puppet. This shit is punch out for real. Do it again. Note to self, let's take out the, the fire brigade on the way. <clears throat> Hot take, run past this guy to the fire and then fight him. You know what? It seems like fantastic advice. We do only have a, a, ha a half hour at the start of this. So then we're going to play the Lamplighters League and then we'll come back for a little Liza P at the end. Let's get some momentum. All right, let's get some momentum. <clears throat> Is that because you stalled for 24 minutes doing a chat audit? Macros, no content is stalling. It, if anything, it's just fodder for the librarians, like secret moments compilation, pre-stream, pre-overlay coming off compilation, okay? The hell, I'm all the way, oh no, this is the shortcut, that's right. Just because you're a game developer, Macros, you, you shouldn't forget about the plight of the common man, okay? Not everybody on Twitch likes games. The, the gaming is the, like the gateway drug. And then before you know it, like eight years later, you're a communist, okay? You, you signed onto the website because you wanted to see someone play Apex Legends. Eight years later, you just got your laminated card for the Democratic Socialists of America. 
It's a very interesting website like that. Why am I... Oh, nice try. Okay, we run past him to the body. Nice try, Sweet Tooth. Jelly Tooth, what's his name? Jelly Bones. Oh, this is like way smarter. Thank you. Where's my sap video? Chat, can I get an audit? Did the sap video go up? Whoa! It is not up. Okay, kill me. I have work to do. Sorry, I had capacitive touch. I had a particularly strong plosive. Um, this video is called I Am No Longer Asking in reference to the Bernie Sanders meme where he is photoshopped to be holding a firearm. Um, I am no longer asking. And then um, that would be Super Auto Pets September 27, because that was the day I made the thumbnail and I'm making a serious face, and the guinea fowl is front and center. We might as well set that as public. Okay. And then we'll go to the mid-roll adder. Librarian, do you have to deal with this on, uh, on YouTube? YouTube, if you turn on auto mid-rolls, it literally puts a mid-roll every 45 seconds. Like, people would get hit with an ad at the start of a video, and then 35 seconds into the video, there would be another ad. If you delete all of their auto mid-rolls, they have the audacity to hit you with, like, a little text box that says, if you manually add mid-rolls, please don't add them at disruptive points in the video that might cause you to lose viewer retention. Okay, Chad GPT, you're the one who posted, uh, tried to put 15 advertisements in an eight minute long video. That's a lies of Pete classic right there. Okay, okay, we got something going on here. No mid-rolls for me unless it's 12 hours long. Everyone's got ad block anyway, man. You might as well toss them in there. They ain't seeing that stuff. <laughs> Come on, it's 2023. We're not pretending ad block doesn't exist, right? I got premium? That's based. I went the other route. I just stopped watching the website. Okay, it's a 17 hit combo, understandable. I'm ready for you. Okay, belly bump, didn't expect that coming. I own you so much, it's actually sad for you. Belly bump. Oh! Why did I use an Estus there? I heard the sound and I said it's time to Estus. Alright, the 17 hit combo. Dude, that was really good though. <laughs> was really good.
Do you think the what is X math post is being taken too far? Yeah. I mean, I hate to say this. I'm not trying to suggest that, like, we got to keep politics out of stuff. It's a very boomer take. But um, as soon as, like, the meme makes it to, like, Congress people and members of the House of Representatives being, like, you know, boy math is when the U.S. deficit is in is $7.4 trillion, but the GDP is only $1.2 trillion. I'm like, you got, we got to, it's gone too far, man just gone too far. You're not supposed to be the one making the memes. No disrespect. I'm old-fashioned. The politicians in my world are supposed to be the ones trying to get memes banned because they're being mocked in them. Okay, fair enough. Okay, he kind of went sicko mode that time. <clears throat> like the weird dress code thing in the Senate? I'm extremely, like, pro uh, never having a dress code for anything ever. I know this is an antiquated NLSS bit. You're not invited to my funeral? In all likelihood? Um, in fact, most of you will probably ineligible, be ineligible, I should say, to attend for one reason or another. That being said, oh, if you are invited to my funeral, if you're forced to wear a suit every time, I want you to know that that's the funeral home that is making that distinction. As far as I'm concerned, I don't really care what you wear to my funeral. If you want to wear a uh, you want to wear a hoodie that says New England Patriots AFC Champions 2018 and then like black Nike basketball shorts, by all means. What do, what do I care? What if I'm naked? Well, like I I I literally don't care because I'm dead. But also. If someone wanted to show up to my funeral naked, it doesn't doesn't bother me any. Not just because I'm dead, but because like, you know, you do you. I'm not a dress code Andy. I also am not a camera Andy. Maybe I could get this guy to come to the bonfire. We'll fight him there. It's not for you, it's to show your family and friends respect. If they don't mind, you can dress however you want. No, it's my funeral. Um, there will be no dress code, and I'm going to make you listen to something. Mm, pro like We're not going to be playing The Wind Beneath My Wings, let's put it that way. We're going to be playing maybe something like, like Close to the Edge by Yes, and you're going to be sitting there for 17 minutes. Anyway, hey, Mad Dog Nation. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Devisor, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Much appreciated. He's belly bumping. He's got a lot of damage. And Kripper Grip Suit, thank you as well. Thank you. I'm not a dress code Andy. I know we, we've gone through this before. I think I try not to use the, the terminology boomers uh, that often because I find that divisive and I'm a big believer that he will not divide us. That being said, caring about dress code to me is, is a boomer coded trait. Especially if you work in an office 
and you're not in a customer facing role every time I do it every time what are we doing here then I really don't understand it like it's, IT especially is the obvious one But even if you're, like, admin, who gives a shit, man? Now, I'll take it a step further. Even if you're in a customer-facing role, I, as the customer, don't give a shit. Some people might. I can't understand why, when it's none of their business. But... People care about lots of things that aren't their business, I suppose. We're belly bumping. Oh, I needed to block one more. We're so close, too. So close. <clears throat> Thank you, T Edits. Thank you. This guy's not bad at all, honestly. This is like, I hate to say it, this is like a fodder boss. I basically, um, I myself don't really get nudism. I derive no pleasure, maybe even a little anti-pleasure out of being nude. I just also accept that it's one of those things that is like, not for me, you know? Some people are into it, obviously. That being said, I think if if the government made a rule that was like everybody has to be nude at all times from now on, my life would be fundamentally exactly the same. There would be like a couple days where I would be like, holy shit, I'm naked and everyone's naked. And then I think like a day later, I would be like, so I was at Costco yesterday, like what, what do I care? We would be colder. Although I'm quite hairy. I might actually warm up a bit. Peloton in the nude? You could, it would be harder, because your shit would be rattling around a little bit. I mean, I just don't really care what, like, anyone else wears. I worked an 18-hour bar shift where, like, a quarter of the people at the bar were nude. You get desensitized to it quickly? That's what I'm saying. I mean, I would rather someone be like, I mean, I'm a, I, someone said I'm a good take machine. I think I'm like a kind of a, maybe a slightly unusual take machine. It's not on purpose. I mean, it's just, this is what I actually believe. Hang on, wait for this fool. I super own you. Stand here. I kind of like wearing formal clothes. Even though I don't wear them on stream. I don't know, I guess I got... I have complicated and simple opinions about dress. I think wearing a suit on stream is heavy... You know, wearing a suit to your first day of college energy. That being said, I do kind of like wearing... More formal clothes. I was so close that time, too. I don't know. I just don't see why people care about the dress code that much. 
we're really talking about the dress code of like Congress, where the dude brought in a cooler with a snowball and said this proves that global warming isn't real? Like, if you want to talk about the quorum, let's start with the rhetoric, brother. I'm not going to worry about a dude who's seven foot four wearing cargo shorts. Like, he's a, he's a democratically elected official. Like, we're really talking about a, a political body where, like, members of this political body are, like, routinely blue screen, blue screening while they're doing public appearances, and we're gonna be like, this guy's invalid because he's wearing shorts? Just seems like... It's not the kind of thing we should be focusing on personally, but anyway, I don't live in the United States, so I'm just saying, there's, there's certainly a lot of, like, shorts and hoodie discourse right now from people that be, probably be wearing shorts and hoodies to work, which I support their right to do. Okay, back it up, brother. Back it up. Base police calling. This man is too based. Okay, we're gonna wait for the next stagger. There's no reason to risk this one. We're gonna wait for this one. Oh, tough luck, brother. That's how you know he's not a real boss. This is gonna be the damn hotel again, isn't it? I'm gonna lose my mind. Didn't even give me like a cutscene or anything like that. This dude's nothing. Hey, hotel crad! can't fool me. This is Hotel Crad. Together again. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! You know what I'm talking about? You ever seen Muppets 2011? I haven't seen it. I hear the soundtrack a lot in the car. It comes on after Ghostbusters. Freaking zap me, bro. Golden puppet? The hell is disruption? You're done. Uh, <laughs> now this is, this is a new one. Yep, all right. Uh, we gotta figure out what we're doing with that. I've been disrupted. It's always the people you don't want to see nude that want to show it off. Listen, while that is uh, anecdotally something that I would agree with, it's also not about you, right? That's the thing. It's about them. I mean, I don't see people being nude in situations where, like, I think they're breaching any kind of, like, social code, you know? Like, it's... Apparently, there's a nude beach in Vancouver. So nudists go to the nude beach and they can be like nude together. That's fine. I've never seen like a nude person just like, you know, out on the sky train, which is kind of crazy. Because I've seen a lot of stuff go down <laughs> around Stadium Chinatown Station. 
I've never seen that. So I, I, I don't think they're like forcing it on anybody for the most part. Apparently, like you don't go there, bro. What am I gonna do at a nude beach? It's, it's like you got to be like 75 years old, right, to go to a nude beach and be like, I'm gonna look at some hot ladies. Like you know, you have the the internet. You don't have to be like a creep. You could just go to your goon cave and jerk off instead of like making it society's problem that you have. Weird issues. <laughs> Reminds me of the time I was walking on the damn seawall and there was a old dude who pulled out like a telescope and started ogling the girls on the uh, like on the boats in False Creek. He's like, dude, you must be... Are you from, like, the 1800s? Your ass pulled out, like, a spyglass to look at a woman in a swimsuit? Are you okay? Is this some, like, master and commander shit? Just keep rolling, man. They can't get you if you just keep rolling. Big Copernicus fan. So true, so true. I would say I'm a big Copernicus fan. Did you see that uh, clip from the... Oh! This, I've made a horrible mistake. Did you see that clip from the um, Atlanta Braves Chicago Cubs game where the announcer said, now Johnson comes in for hand and next up to bat is Master Boney? VIP Daniel, can I get a baseball check? Are those three real names that all interacted on a play together? There's a, there's a Major League Baseball player named Master Boney. Yes, the Blue Jays even once had hand. Man. Boy, sure hope he does. His name is Miles Master Buoni. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh, dude. Yo, get out of here! You're honestly so annoying. Goodbye. I guess I could just take the damn door, right? I don't have to I don't have to go up the stairs. Oh, that's not a special resistance purifier. That's that's not a, a regular ampule, bro. Hey chat, what does LT do? It gives him a little one of these. Hello. I'm just gonna say it. Is this the Frenchest enemy I've ever seen? I'm starting to think it might be. Bro, your girlfriend's coming! Back off! Your girlfriend's coming! Bad timing? I'm crazy? I'm God's strongest soldier?
please. Crescent Moonstone. Oh! The hell's going on in there? Let's go! Never have to see that again. Wonderful news. Boss fight? Is this the boss that Kate was on that was giving her a, a real hard time yesterday? It is. Well, that's perfect timing for us to, to pivot after we take a look at them. The 36th filter. This guy took me four hours. Well, get ready, because we're going first try. You've got a friend in me. Toy Story 2 ass looking scene. Me putting on my underwear at 520 in the morning so I can hop on the Peloton and get my ass beat by D. Kelly 1835 from Atlanta. Me realizing I am at the fridge, but I didn't get a cup, so now I gotta go upstairs and go get a cup and then go back downstairs to the fridge so I can pour some coffee in it at 5.15 in the morning so I get my ass beat by Moomin Rider. Me sleeping on the couch for six days straight because my wife was sick. Finally being able to go to sleep in the bed and then my daughter has a sleep regression. Charles Bukowski trying to turn me into Ed Gein by whispering sweet somethings into my ear. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> that is really good. They understood the assignment with this one, man. Oh, he's sad. You made him sad! King of Puppets. Hey, I've been workshopping a tweet about Neutral Milk Hotel. I don't know if it's gonna work. It'll be something like, bro, bro, tell them. Tell them, tell them that story about when you were young and you were the, what were you, what did they call you when you were young again? And then it would be like, oh, I don't really want to dredge up the past. No, 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 I remember when you were young and they called you like the king of carrot flowers or whatever. And how you built like a tower that was tumbling to the freaking sea or whatever. Tell them about it, bro. Tell them. That's getting a lot of plus twos, but I gotta figure out how I'm gonna how I'm gonna phrase it. Okay, for now, slash, slash marker me. Uh, this is lies of P. I'd 